So in this video, we're gonna go ahead and address that, put some over fenders on it, fender flares, get a little custom, get a little wild. And dude, I miss you, Hefe. And now, you're watching the smell that is the one o'clock Taco Tuesday construction site porta potty channel of YouTube. Welcome to Bodie Vision. Hey, so what's happening? Thank you so much for joining me on yet another video. So like I just mentioned before the intro, what we want to focus on for this car is fixing some of this fitment, some of that issue. The back is also like that, not looking too good. So I wanted to just make something completely from scratch, but then I was thinking, why don't I get on the internet and try to find something that's gonna make it a little bit easier for me. So what I went ahead and I did is I just bought some generic fender flares, they're four inch fender flares on eBay, and that's what I got. And now what I'm gonna do and what the plan is to utilize those fenders to kind of work on the wheel section and then adapt the body section. You know what, it'll make a little bit more sense once we get started. So the first thing that I wanna do is to start kind of mask off this fender to get it ready to fiberglass on there and you'll get it, you'll get it. Let's just, let's go. So at this point, now that the fender is completely taped off and protected from any of that fiberglass on there, I want to take that universal fender flare that I bought on eBay and I want to start to trim the section that would be touching the car. I want to preserve the section that's going over the wheel and trim it down a little bit. So this was a four inch fender flare, meaning it's off the body four inches. That's perfect for the back. For the front, the fitment is not quite as off, so I want to turn it into a roughly two inch fender flare. So I want to start to trim away the surface that was actually touching the car. Once that's trimmed down, I want to put the fender flare exactly where I want it on the wheel. That way I'm setting up my fitment and then I'll adapt the rest with fiberglass or the relationship between that little moon piece, that little tiny piece that I have that's going around the wheels and onto the car. So from the one piece to the car, it's gonna be adapted to fit perfectly. Well, that's the plan. been just about 10 minutes and it is really hard so I guess we're gonna go ahead and try to work this and pop it off hopefully it comes off in one piece and another thing is I'm gonna add more to the inside this was just to mainly get the shape all right here we go So now that's the exact shape of the car. That's exactly what I needed. Now obviously this is going to be trimmed quite a bit, but this is just the very first rough beginning of how it's going to eventually look. Right now it looks crazy, but believe it or not, I'm really happy with this. So at this point I let it dry for just a little bit and now we have our basic shape and where it's actually forming to the body perfectly. So now I'm just gonna draw some lines, get this thing trimmed up, and you won't believe how fast it goes from here. It's not a 
again. It's a red stick. This falls right in place like it was made for it because it was made on here. So what else would it do besides fall in place? And also this edge is going to be cleaned up quite a bit right now. We just kind of want to get some holes in it. I'm going to throw some Clecos in it so that way we can always return to the same spot as we are refining this. And this looks good. I told you, it'll go quick from here. now that we can kind of start to see the basic shape and we can see where this is going we have a little problem that needs to be addressed all of that glassing was done on the outside so from the old fender flare or from the basic fender flare to our new fiberglass that's a nice and smooth transition because I sanded it down it looks really nice but now on the inside I want to go ahead and glass that in just for protection so I'm gonna go ahead and lay that glass out and also it's a really good idea to cut the amount of fiberglass mat that you're gonna need so cut a piece lay it on there cut a piece lay it on there make sure you have a couple extra pieces because the worst thing is is if you're laying out that resin and you don't have enough pieces cut then you got to cut more by the time you get back to the resin the resin has kicked off and is now dry and then you can't do anything so just a little bit of advice cut as much mat as you're going to need and then a little bit more one spread out of fiberglass laced body filler because some of this area was pretty uneven that's why I wanted to use the fiberglass laced body filler because I thought it was going to be a good transition from the fiberglass fiberglass laced filler and then once it's pretty smooth then I'll go ahead and skim it with a normal lightweight body filler just to tie everything together but like I was saying after just one spread out it is looking really good I mean I'm really happy with this it still looks rough but I mean that's just part of the process uh, fitment is perfect because it was custom it was made for this car so the fitment is gonna be I mean it's gonna be perfect so the inside looking really good outside looking really good and again this was just one spread out I'm probably gonna have to do three more spread outs and then I'm gonna have to do two more and then another two more just to kind of bring it closer bring it together but this is nice heavy and it's crazy because this thing falls it falls right into place like the fitment in the back fitment in the front is so phenomenal it really fits like a glove it barely even needs a clico there like you can see exactly where it's supposed to be on the car so and that's why i did those clicos earlier like i said so that way it can always come back to the same exact spot that way we're going to know fitment and nothing changed so i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to spend a little bit more time sanding on this one sanding on that one. I want to get the fronts dialed in really before I move on to the rear. So I got a plan for the rear, similar to the front, but only in a little section. Let's, let's just focus on the fronts for now.
hearing this thing idle is absolutely phenomenal. So as far as the front fender, that one is looking really good. We have the one on the other side that's a couple steps back. So we have a little bit more work to do on it. Now with the car, I just want to let it idle for a little bit because it hasn't ran in quite a while. And I don't know if some of you noticed, I know some of you definitely did because some of you were asking me on social media where I have been. Long story short, I basically went broke. I went for broke, you know the saying, go for broke. I went for broke trying to build this car to make my YouTube channel blow up. Now if you're here, I appreciate you being here. I was just expecting a lot more views from this entire series. So if you guys could or if you wanted to help me out, share this video, buy the merch, do all of that stuff. Basically, I got a new job and the new job is really cool. It's in the construction field. I'm working with some heavy equipment. My boss is really cool. The manager is really cool. Everything is all good. So what that means is the upload schedule is going to just slow down a little bit, as you can obviously tell. But I'm not giving up on the shop. I'm not giving up on any of this stuff. Now it's just gonna be, it's just gonna be a hobby of mine. I'm not gonna make a video every single other day and I'm not gonna have to kill myself in order to come out with content. And honestly, I was getting a little bit burnt out doing that. So now I got my job, new job, I really enjoy it. Now the shop, I'm gonna enjoy this as well. Doing all these projects, I'm just gonna do it for the fun of it because that's why we do it to begin with. So again, if you wanna support me a little bit, go and check out some of the merch or share this videos with some of your friends. So anyways, on the fenders, back to the actual video itself. This is just part one, part two will be coming out real soon. I got some ideas for the rears and it's gonna be very similar to the front. Either way, man, subscribe to see all that stuff coming up. Thank you so much for watching. Like this video, comment, subscribe. Do all the stuff you know to this YouTube. I'll see you on the next one. Let you hear it one more time. Until the next one. <laughs> all right, YouTube, I'm out.